What's happening, Diggle Dreamers? You got Mathers back for more CDL content, and it's finally time to remake that Week 2 battle. Uh, Jose and the Seattle Cedras, a uh, longtime friend of the channel, been a part of many leagues with this guy. Uh, he had a big complication uh, starting Week 2 of this league, so he basically got his Week 1 battle done and hasn't gotten a battle done since, so this is actually going to be the first one. Uh, for him, or the second one for him, and finally making up that week two one that I missed um, way back when. Uh, so pretty uh, long time coming, uh, but pretty exciting. Uh, you can see his team on the screen. You can see my team right here. Uh, I'm not going to really go over it too much. Uh, if you want to check it out, I'll leave a link at the top right of the video so you can go check out uh, my draft overview video because uh, I'm not going to really waste anyone's time by going over my team in every video. Uh, but let's take a look at Jose's team, the Seattle Cedras. So he's got his two Z users, the Incineroar and the Mesprit. He's got that Mega Blastoise, which if you've been watching my RU series at all, you know that Mega Blastoise is one of the biggest threats in that tier. Uh, he's got Decidueye, Gudra, Hariyama, Mawile, Quillfish, uh, Raichu, uh, Snorlax, and Zygarde, 10%. So what did I, I want to bring? First thing I did think of was Scarf Noodle Queen, <laughs> and uh, I purposely didn't bring it to a bunch of other battles just so I could save it for this one. Uh, but one of the other big things I noticed was uh, how important Florges would be. Uh, his only Pokemon that really takes it on is um, Mawile, or Quillfish, I if it goes like an offensive Quillfish. Uh, and I guess Incineroar does do a lot, but basically the main thing here is that <laughs> Florges takes on a lot of his teammates. Uh, can hit take hits from Blastoise, which is key, because Blastoise is hard to take hits from. Uh, can take on Zygarde, uh, Gudra, Hariyama, uh, Raichu, stuff like that. Mesprit, depending on the set. Um, so I went with uh, my standard, you know, timid, enough speed to outspeed certain things, uh, with the Aromatherapy, Defog, Moonblast, and Synthesis with Leftovers. Uh, went with a defensive spread. Uh, because that helps me take on things like Incineroar and um, Zygarde and uh, uh, Decidueye uh, uh, while still being able to take hits from uh, things like Blastoise. Uh, so I have enough speed is it to outspeed Incineroar, uh, Decidueye, Gudra, and is it Gudra? I don't know if I actually outspeed Gudra. I might be talking out of my... Talking out of my... Uh, I do hit good speed with this though. Like, 75 is not slow. Uh, if he's not sp speed invested, <laughs> no. uh, I gotta have speed Hariyama. Um, you know, so not bad to be sp to be fast. Sorry for that train going by. I uh, got Mandibuzz here here as well, uh, with enough special defense investment to take hits from Blastoise. Even an Ice Beam is not going to to a KO me, which is great, because uh, Mandibuzz also takes on things like uh, Incineroar. Uh, you can take on the right Mesprit set, you can take on Decidueye, you can even take hits from Hariyama and Gudra, take hits from Mawile, uh, basically everything <laughs> except Raichu, uh, which is always awesome. Uh, Mandibuzz has been one of the key players in this league for me, uh, and I think it's definitely going to continue to do that in this battle. Uh, I got Toxicroak with a very interesting set. Just I think I may have overprepared for the Blastoise, honestly. Uh, but basically just enough investment into special defense uh, that I can take on uh, Blastoise, not get too KO'd with the Black Sludge. Uh, and of course Dry Skin, you know, is there. Probably not going to run a water move, but because most Mega Blastoise don't really bother at this point. Uh, I might be thinking too much about the latter, but, uh, you know, Dry Skin is still good. Uh, bulk up, Sucker Punch, Drain Punch, Knock Off. I have enough speed to outspeed and um, max speed non-scarf uh, Mesprit, and I can hit it with a Knock Off. I don't really need Poison Stab for this battle. Uh, it doesn't really hit anything. Because uh, I can hit anything that I can hit. Like, fighting Dark Coverage is basically all I need for this battle. Uh, the fighting moves hit things like Incineroar, uh, Snorlax, while the, the, the Dark type moves hit Mesprit, Decidueye, uh, other things, you know, like poison moves aren't really helping me here, and it's not like uh, any of these Pokemon, well, the, the Mawile, I guess, uh, but it's not resistant to the, the fighting type move, uh, I guess the only big worry is the quill Quillfish, uh, but I of course do have the Dry Skin to help take that on, so I think 
1v1 unless it's got like Thunder Wave, which would be annoying, but that's why I have Aromatherapy on Florgus. Um, my Dr. Coke should be able to take it on. Maybe I should do like Substitute or something. Anyway. And then I have Galisopod, Galisopod with the Insect Plate, first impression. Uh, this thing has a pretty good chance to just one hit KO uh, Zygarde. Uh, can also take hits from it pretty well. Uh, first impression also does a good chunk to most of his team, knocking out things like Mesprit. Uh, like first impression, then Aqua Jet takes out Incineroar. Uh, does a good amount to things like this uh, Decidueye, uh, Blastoise, Gudra. You know, good stuff. Uh, Goliath's Pod is just a really, really strong Pokemon. Uh, enough speed to outspeed things like uh, Snorlax. I think hit Ryama. Don't quote me on that. Uh, maybe Mawile. Did I do enough? I think I did enough for Mawile. Uh, anyway. Uh, got Rhyperior here with um, defense, special defense investment. My, my, my standard especially defensive one. Uh, it can take hits from uh, Incineroar. Uh, take hits from Mesprit unless it's like Energy Ball. Uh, can take certain hits from Blastoise as well. Aura Sphere is definitely a worry, but other than that, uh, obviously Decidueye is kind of a threat. Uh, depending on the moves that the Gudra has, can take that thing on. Uh, Hariyama isn't even that big of a threat. Um, can take on Mawile, Raichu without, an, I guess, probably not Raichu with Energy Ball, uh, but can take on Snorlax and can take on Zygar, which is why I'm packing. Um, Ice Punch, because I don't think Toxic is going to be that useful in this battle. Uh, he's got Mawile and Quillfish who are immune to it. He could have potentially immune uh, Snorlax, and I don't really see Toxic as an important factor in this game. Like, I don't see anything that I just wouldn't really need to wear down that much. Plus, you could even have Guts Hariyama, too. Uh, so I went with Ice Punch over Toxic. Uh, Stealth Rock is also there. Just helps pick up KOs with, like, priority and stuff like that. Um... And then, of course, I mentioned it at the beginning, this Choice Scarf, Nido Queen. Uh, it does really miss the Life Orb power, uh, but the Earth Power, Sludge Wave, Ice Beam, Thunderbolt coverage is really nice uh, and can potentially uh, take out a lot of things. Like this this trio right here, the, um, the Mawile, Quillfish, Raichu is caught pretty hard with Earth Power. I can catch the Raichu off guard with the Scarf. Um, and I can hit Zygarde with an Ice Beam if it is like locked into 1,000 arrows, think it can knock me out and I can catch it with an Ice Beam, that kind of stuff. Ice Beam, of course, hits Decidueye and uh, Gudra as well, and then the, uh, you know, Earth Power for Incineroar. Uh, the Mesprit, of course, being a big worry, as it can take uh, probably two of any of the hits. Uh, and then there's Thunderbolt for the Blastoise as well. So potential good potential late game cleaner to kind of pick off uh, what's remaining of his team if it gets to that point which would be pretty sweet uh, so the battle should be up in a few uh, make sure you hit that subscribe hit that notification bell so you know when it does come out and uh, hope all goes well and uh, see you guys in that one peace out keep dreaming goodbye